As Quest owners, there's a ton of quality looking games up and coming this year and beyond, so there seems to be plenty to look forward to, and in this video, we're gonna cover 10 of those games. So just a quick note that this video has been posted as an article on the VR Dynamite website. So this is a new website that's just been launched. We're very proud of it, and we'd love your support. If you wanna go over, check it out for yourself, let us know what you think. Now just quickly, if you like the video, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and notification bell to be kept up to date with all the latest Oculus Quest news and reviews coming from this channel. Now before I even get into the list, I want to mention Green Hell VR. Now I've covered this game before in my most recent top five most anticipated Oculus Quest game video, which I'll link in the description below and up there. And also I did a video too, where I interviewed the head of marketing for Incuvo Games, Kemi. And you can check that video out too in the description below. Now Green Hell VR is a psychological thriller survival game set in the Amazon jungle. And we haven't heard too much about the Quest version, but just recently, we saw two screenshots drop for the Quest release. Now these screenshots look fantastic. I actually wasn't expecting it to look this good on the Quest. And these screenshots are also from an earlier development version of the game. So since then, the development team have upgraded the textures. So it means when there is the final release, we might even see an even better looking version than what you're seeing here in the screenshots. So I'm really excited about this one. Can't wait to see more updates. So the first game on the list is Warhammer Age of Sigmar and we've recently saw a PC VR gameplay trailer drop for this game and it's looking quite promising. Whilst the gameplay trailer is taken from PC VR footage, the game will be arriving on the quest as well. Now in this game, you're seen battling undead forces with both melee and magic. The game will be story based and feature a combat system where you'll need to put your weight behind each melee strike to cause damage. This is done in order to prevent players from just wiggling their sword around to defeat enemies. There is currently a closed beta you can sign up for as a PC VR tester, although be quick as sign ups do end June 10th. Our next game is Theta Legion 2. This comes from us from the developers of Stones of Harlath and it's inspired by classic games like Doom and Quake. It features 2D pixel art in a 3D environment. While we don't know much about the second installment of this game at this point, we do have these screenshots of the work in progress. If it follows the formula of the original game, we can expect a solid run and gun FPS, which has a similar look to the Aliens franchise, from the Xenomorph baddies right down to the motion tracker that you hold in your hand. Now in this game you can expect to be fending off enemy hordes and taking on bosses across multiple environments that include frozen wastelands and space stations. Games from the Garage Collective development team also typically include comfort options and the ability to play seated or standing to cater for different player needs. Theta Legion 2 will feature 16 sprawling levels and is planned for release in 2022. Now our next game, Ven, is a PC VR platformer set to be ported over to the Oculus Quest. Now in this game, you play as the alien Ven, as you platform your way through his magical home planet, trying to stop its destruction at the hands of Bruce Nelson. The video of Quest footage that you're seeing here, showing the jungle environments with crushing blocks and destructible crates, gives off strong Crash Bandicoot vibes and looks every bit as challenging. The game will feature cross-buy with the PC VR version and includes different difficulty settings and modes like a time trial mode to challenge players. The Quest gameplay footage shows the port to be shaping up quite nicely and is predicted for release in the third quarter of 2021. I Expect You To Die 2 is the much anticipated sequel to the multi-award winning VR spy puzzle game I Expect You To Die. You play a secret agent trying to stop the evil plans of the Zoraxis organization. Now it's up to you to solve diabolical puzzles or die trying in an effort to uncover the organization's devious plan for world domination. Now the first game was known for its clever puzzles that make good use of the player's physical presence in the world and from this trailer it looks like this offering is going to be no different. 
In one part of the trailer, we see the player has to improvise and use their clipboard as a makeshift shield to stop a potentially poisoned dart from taking them out. I Expect You to Die 2 is set to arrive on VR platforms in the summer of 2021. Ancient Dungeon is a roguelite dungeon crawler that's available for you to play right now for free as a beta release on App Lab. Each dungeon is themed and procedurally generated so that the layout changes with each playthrough which gives it a lot of replayability. Dungeons comes filled with traps, secrets, loot, bosses and interactable NPCs. There are over 100 different upgrades to unlock and combat feels very satisfying as the enemies do fall and stagger realistically in response to your blows. The full release is due on the official Quest Store later this year. A Quest version of a Township Tower was announced back in February of this year and they've began testing the Quest version as of March. This is an open world RPG that has a sandbox style gameplay which can have many different goals depending on what you want to do. For example, you might want to explore the layout of the world or learn about its resources and creatures that inhabit it or maybe you want to dedicate yourself to one of the many professions. So professions include things like blacksmith or miner, cook, archer or warrior among many others. It seems that for now the developers plan to release on the quest without cross buy but we are unsure when that release will be. Sniper Elite VR is a game set in World War II where you'd play as an Italian partisan defending your hometown from fascist forces. The single player campaign focuses on 18 replayable missions where you get to handle authentic World War II weapons such as rifles, FMGs, pistols, shotguns, grenades and other explosives. Sniper Elite also features an x-ray kill cam to show the brutal damage that your sniper bullets do to the enemy's internal organs and bones. Unlike other military shooters on the quest, shooters like Contractors and Onward, Sniper Elite does not feature a multiplayer mode. But hopefully this means that we will see an extensive and engaging campaign given all development efforts have gone into creating the single player experience. Sniper Elite is set to release July 8th across multiple VR platforms including the quest. The developers Joyway recently announced that Stride had been officially accepted into the Oculus Quest store and had begun its beta testing phase. Stride is a high octane parkour shooter where the player needs to run and gun across rooftops to survive. It currently features an endless mode with infinite well generation where you have to run, jump and climb across rooftops as quickly as you can as the world starts falling apart behind you. There is also an arena mode that requires completing certain tasks such as collecting items or taking out enemies. And there is a time run mode which is all about speed as you compete against others to get the furthest in the quickest time possible. There is no official word on a release date that we know of yet but Joyway intends to release a story mode for a PC VR version in the third quarter of this year so it is possible we might see a quest release around this time. The co-op zombie shooter After the Fall was officially announced as coming to the Quest in the official Oculus Gaming Showcase earlier this year. After the Fall comes to us from the creators of Arizona Sunshine and pits up to four players against hordes of undead called Snowbreed. Now this game is set in a post-apocalyptic frozen wasteland that used to be LA and you will face off against waves of both regular Snowbreed and special Snowbreed. Now the special snowbreed have been mutated beyond the regular snowbreed types to have special features. For example, one special snowbreed type is a large tank-like character that will grab you by the neck and lift you off your feet if you let it get close enough. Now if you are missing one or more of the four people to play with, you will be joined by AI companions instead. And you'll all need to work together healing each other, sharing ammo and weapons to survive. The gameplay mechanics sound a lot like Left 4 Dead in VR and promises to be quite the epic co-op experience. However, we have only seen PC VR footage at this point and the game does sound quite ambitious for the Quest platform so it will be interesting to see how well it works on the Quest. 
after the fall is sledged for release across multiple VR platforms including the Quest sometime in 2021. Our next game, Sam and Max, this time it's virtual, actually started life as a comic book but didn't gain too much attention until LucasArts made the game Sam and Max Hit the Road back in 1993. The crime fighting duo consists of Sam, who is the six foot tall talking dog in a suit and fedora, while Max is the short aggressive bunny type looking thing. You can expect funny banter, action and crime solving elements from this game, but what really excites me is the creator who wrote the original comics is consulting on the game design, story and art style. In addition to this, veterans from LucasArts are also giving their input on the game and LucasArts had a great track record in the 90s for creating some of the best point and click adventures like Monkey Island for example. With all of this talent involved, I'm expecting a quality game that's probably going to be dripping in nostalgia. Now just one more bonus game before I leave you. This is pre-alpha footage of Project Hellsweeper. It's brought to us by the same team that brought us Seriento on the Oculus Quest. And there's not much really known about it yet, but it looks like it's coming to the Oculus Quest and they do promise a more complete trailer coming at the end of this month. They're also talking about releasing a public beta in about a couple of months time. If you're interested in joining, you can join their Discord channel to receive the freshest news. I'll leave a link to the original post in the description below. So that's our list for now. As you can see, there's a ton of quality looking games coming up for the Quest in the future. Is there a particular game you're most looking forward to? Or maybe there was a game that was not on this list. Let me know in the comment section below. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So if you have liked the video, hit that like button. And if you like my content, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll catch you in the next video.